Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days and this is 30 Days of Thanksgiving. Today, tonight, we are going to show you how we do our stuffing, our bread for our stuffing. Uh, we do it a little bit different, you know, the Sutton's Days way. So let's get started. Okay, so this is my basic bread recipe. Um, this is like the only kind of bread that I really make and I just change up what I put in it. So um, I'll link the two videos that I have uploaded already. Uh, one is for a garlic parmesan bread and one is for a jalapeno bread um, and it's it's the same basic bread recipe so that's what we're going to get started with here and then we just change it up by adding different flavors. This recipe is so forgiving it's terrifying you guys. It kind of defies bread logic. Okay, So first we do a cup and a half of hot tap water and then to that I add a table three I'm sorry three tablespoons of olive oil I will put this in the description below okay three tablespoons of olive oil there we go and then we do three tablespoons of sugar okay Next we do two tablespoons of yeast. Am I the only one that loves the smell of yeast? I love the smell of yeast bread. Okay, we're going to let that sit for just a second. Not real long, just long enough for me to get things closed back up the way that they should be. What we are going to add to this mix. Oven's ready. Crock-Pot's ready. Okay. Um, what we're going to add to this is one and a half teaspoons of salt, then four cups of flour, okay? And then this mixture right here is uh, one teaspoon of ground, of white, I'm using white pepper, you can use white pepper, black pepper, whatever. Um, one teaspoon of sage, one teaspoon of onion, diced onion, and then we're also going to add in, uh, da, da, da. well that was it because we already did the salt, okay? So that looks good. That's starting to froth up. So now I'm going to add the salt. We've got one and a half teaspoons of salt. Now salt can, you know, stop the yeast from doing what it's supposed to. So I give it a minute to make sure that it has done what it's supposed to. Okay, then we're going to put in a tablespoon of minced garlic because minced garlic is good. Okay, and then we're going to put in the spices that I mentioned the pepper, the sage, and the onion. That's all in there now. And then we are going to add in the four cups of flour. Ceremoniously dump it in there. Okay. Drop that. Turn it on. And let it do its magic. That's going to run for approximately seven minutes in the mixer. Um, you'll know when it's ready. It's not sticking to the bowl. It's not, you know, it, it looks nice and smooth. Um, everything is all wonderful. So we'll be back when that is done mixing. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it comes out. And see, it comes away from the hook and the bowl very clean. Now we're going to move over to the pan. Okay, so now I've got the pan and I have greased it. You can use cooking spray, you can use lard, you can use whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to slowly work this out kind of like you would a pizza dough, you know. And we're going to get it fairly thin and spread out on this sheet as much as we can. And then we're going to let it rise. I will end up making probably two or three of these because 
Phil would be happy if he only had to eat stuffing for Thanksgiving. He doesn't care about the turkey. He just wants the stuffing. If there's a hole in the middle, it doesn't count. It doesn't matter because you're going to cut it up anyway. So I'm just trying to make it as uniformly flat without actually having to pull out a rolling pin because it just doesn't matter that much. Okay, so I've got the oven heating up and this sitting on the pan and we are going to cover it up and we are going to let it set for about 20-25 minutes uh, to let it rise. It actually will rise. Okay, so we've let it rise for about 25 minutes. And now we are going to put it in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. We'll be back when it comes out. Okay, we're going to get that loaf out of the oven. Here we go. Now we're going to let this cool. Yeah, we're going to let this cool uh, probably about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to dice it up and put it into the dehydrator for about two hours. Okay, so now we are going to take it and you'll see I'm missing the end piece because my taste testers are trying it out. And we're gonna cut it into nice, even squares. First starting out in strips. This way, in my mind, we are getting more of the crust, um, which I think makes for a better stuffing. <clears throat> okay, so when I get those all done, then we will go this direction. You can make them as big or as little as you want. And if you wanted, you could actually leave it in the oven just a little bit longer, make it a little uh, crustier. But this will crust up quite nicely. There we go. Okay, so we will put that into our big bowl. And once that bowl is filled, we will have enough bread made for stuffing. And we're doing it ahead of time, so we'll just let it sit there and stale on its own. If we wanted to push it along a little faster, we'd put it in the dehydrator, but honestly, we have enough time doing what it's doing. Okay, so that is how we make our dressing, our stuffing. This is what we're going to stuff in the turkey, and hopefully if there's any left over, I can put some in a dish because I like it better in the dish. Phil likes it better in the turkey. But nice, simple, simple bread recipe. No fail. Ser seriously, no fail. Um, I'll, again, put the links in the description box and up here in the iCards for the basic bread recipe that I have made, garlic parmesan bread and the garlic jalapeno bread. Um, and those two are really, really good. I just used that same recipe, um, only I added different spices into this and laid it out differently. I didn't form it into the balls. I laid it flat on the pan, let it rise, cut it up into strips and then chunks. And that is our homemade stuffing um or that's the bread for our homemade stuffing <laughs> okay so that's it 30 days of thanksgiving i hope you've had a chance to check out everybody else's channels they're in the description box below remember if you like what we do here please hit that like subscribe and share check us out on instagram and facebook don't forget twitter and until next time be safe